Brian here with some more Bomber Beta. Today I'm going to be attempting the seldom achieved double double. Um, I've been projecting these uh, 2v10s. I uh, have four sessions on one of them and uh, two sessions on the other one. And today I'm going to try and put them both down. It's uh, I'm in uh, Red Rock Canyon, uh, specifically uh, Willow Springs. And uh, today I'm going to try and take down Ride the White Horse, which is this like slopey lip traverse um, that uh, it goes, let's see, from right to left. So I have to use my right he heel a lot. And then I'm going to walk up uh, this uh, canyon right behind me here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And um, I'm going to try this one called Salt is Salty. It's just basically just like one really big move. Well, maybe like two or three big moves, but one specifically like really big move that requires a left heel hook. So I'm going to be getting a really good hamstring workout today. Uh, plus, I'm going to I'm totally solo right now, so I have like uh, you know a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have to be carrying like three or four pads with me. Uh, technically, I have a mondo, a trifold, uh, a half pad, and a slider. And even on um, ride the white horse i'm not even fully protected on the top out so that's going to be a little spicy but um i'm really excited to give this a try document it and uh we'll see what happens so remember i told you guys this was going to be hard on the uh, heels and the hamstrings i have this device right here i'm gonna be lighting myself up here Get the other one. I can totally see some people walking by looking at me like I'm crazy, but I don't care. Drop the pads off a little closer to the project. <laughs> pretty windy out here today so I don't know how the audio is gonna turn out but fucking psyched it's a lot of fun walking with all these pads <laughs> I would uh, set up a camera for you guys to see but it's so windy the gust must be at least 40 miles per hour so uh, maybe when I get a little deeper in the canyon I'll be able to set up a camera let you guys see how absurd I look. There she is. Looking pretty as always. Let's see if I can put it down. It's really windy out here and pretty hot um, so the uh, just gonna take a little bit of try hard here to get this thing done um, I fell on the last move um, about three days ago uh, and then we had a rain day and it's been drying out for two days now and it's crisp out but it's a little hot the sun's hitting the side of it about to blow over my camera here. So, as you can see, it's just a slopey lip traverse the whole way. And then you make this big move from like here to here and then top her out. Kind of a bit of a low ball, but it's a freaking sick line. Like, I'm psyched on this thing. So, I really want to work the top out because get really really pumped out on this thing so we'll see how that goes but I'll warm up on the other side of the boulder and come back and give it a try and at this point in the video I'd like to thank today's sponsor Mountain Dew Game Fuel. I know you guys are going to judge me super hard right now, but I don't always drink Game Fuel. But when I do, I climb double digit. <laughs> That's like 
actually kind of true. Not 100%, but definitely a statistically significant amount. just fell on the last move again um, the real crux is like getting that heel in the right spot before you go to the other side of that nose so made a slight beta adjustment I think it's gonna be harder hand moves but I think it's gonna let me set that heel a little better um, and I'm just gonna fire for that last left hand bump to that slopey rail fight that top out Let's see, a couple minutes rest, let's see if I can do it. No! Go for a stop recording. <clears throat> Descent. <laughs> As that attempt right before I sent was total crap. My hamstring was about to give out. And uh, yeah, just freaking went for it and <laughs> almost blew like the V2 top out. About sat on that like little nose thing. I was so worried I was going to blow it. It's like such a thrutchy move and there's no feet. And just so you guys know, right there, that's my, that was my landing for the top out. You can see, <laughs> put my jacket down in a slider. Cause I mean, I figured at least I'd probably fall on my feet, but not in the position I was in, but one down and uh, We'll see what I can do. Again. Fifth day on. First day with game fuel. Mountain Dew. If you're looking for a uh, rock climbing uh, athlete, you're more than welcome to be that person. Hey guys, back in the van, hydrating and uh, eating a little bit before I go out for my next boulder. As you can see, the lighting is beautiful, so. I apologize in advance, but uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how I'm feeling. So I'm super psyched. I sent uh, my first V10 in Nevada, first V10 in Red Rock Canyon. Uh, so, I mean, I can't be more psyched. And is it bold of me going for a second one on the same day? Absolutely. But you know what? Might as well try it. A little bit more about... Um, this next boulder is like one big move, uh, opposite heel look. It's uh, not as slopey, it's more like positive edges, just like very powerful. Um, that last boulder was like very slopey, tensiony. Uh, this boulder's got a really sketchy top out though. It's not that tall, but it's just, it's got like a block that kind of like is back here and you're like topping out kind of like a bulge. And so you would just hit it. So got to conjure my uh, inner psych and do this thing so started on the approach 
are going way up Mystery Canyon, y'all. So like I said, the approach coming here is pretty bad. As you can see, it's basically just a wash. There's all these like juniper trees um, that are like right up on us. But uh, we're heading up. I just have the trifold on. Let's see if you can see. And the half pads on there too. I got all my stuff in there, no bag. I'm trying to go light, lean, and mean. Let's see if I can get a send out of this. So, the approach even gets better. Got this little scramble. I think I can do it with a pad on, with the camera in my hand. Well, my bust ass. <laughs> but yeah, that was a a fun little scramble. Oh, and it gets better. So, you know what makes this approach even better? These little guys. Yeah, they're uh, they're a little pointy, and uh, they're everywhere. That's the path, and that's them, and that's them, and that's them, and that's them. So, you know, I. Uh, if I was smart, I would have started projecting stuff in craft, but I can't crimp for the life of me, so I'm stuck walking through these washes by myself. Uh, getting all muddy and uh, prickly. But, um, yeah, we're having fun out here. First time I have to take off my pad. That's the beauty right back there. Gotta crawl through this hole, and then... Uh, We'll be doing some bouldering. So here's the climb. Start here and under there. Make a big move out to this like kind of flake thing. Bump up to this sloper. Big move up to there. That's the crux. Match that and you do this you know, fun top out with uh, on those slopers and this as your landing. So, let's see what we can do. Go for a stop recording. <laughs> ah, double double <laughs> wow this uh this really feels amazing i uh i'm not gonna lie to you guys well i may have lied to you guys i said i've done all the moves i never did that top out before i never made the last move and boy felt a little tired after that section it uh there's no feet for a second, and you really gotta just like, really use the core tension on those slopers. And man, I just step that foot up high, you're on two slopers and a fall would be bad. And I always back down because I wasn't about to send, you know, I was just trying to work the beta. And obviously it wasn't, wasn't that hard, but 
Sometimes you just need that extra little psych. Wow. I am, uh, whew, I'm on cloud nine right now. Whew. First double double ever. Um, yeah. Ride the white horse. Salt is salty. And it's, uh, you know, I think I started around 11 or so. Where's my phone? And it's only, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's only 2.30. <laughs> that's, that's a good, that's a good three, three or so hours of bouldering. That might be the best three hours of bouldering I've ever had.